Hey guys, Tinder Pips here, and today I'm going to be doing my weekly chart analysis on Bitcoin US dollar and Ethereum Bitcoin. Now, the reason I do this every week, again, is to show you guys what is going on in the markets, what my analysis is for this week, and what we think happen overall based on what information we have. So, for right now, um, just, just some basic chart patterns we see. So we could call this a double bottom, maybe triple bottom. Heck, this might even be a flag pattern, which if it is a flag pattern forming, if it breaks above, which it can, it'll be bullish. And if it breaks below, bearish. Now, if you don't see what I'm talking about, I'll just draw it out real quick. That, that. And the idea is that this whole part downward trend and generally speaking so 60 percent of the time so most of the time it does break out to the bottom but sometimes it does break up top. so currently we're here might chill here for a minute and then go this or it could literally do the opposite and then break up all right well we we don't know what's going to happen yet just by looking at weekly we're just gonna have to wait for that to break out now if we look on lower time frames we can figure out much better short-term analysis now as far as the daily let's see so we had this double top here it retested it and then it broke it and then it formed another double top like another m um as far as everything else there's you could also call this a w right here W right here and a W right here, so it's kind of consolidating. That's usually what happens inside of a out of a flag. So I think we can confirm this being flag and not else. <clears throat> now, as far as what we're looking at today, we have some major bullish pressure because we are right at a forty thousand dollars zone. What that means basically is that we could see this push up. Now, here's the only problem is it's been here for a minute. And as we can tell from earlier, it doesn't usually respect the zone too well. So don't count on this on this quarters line in order to have a bullish in order to have a bullish overall bias on this. Now it is forming kind of formed a head and shoulders on the four hour right here broke up and then it went back down, retested it, and now it's just kind of, it's been ranging a little bit, but overall going up, a lot of wicks going on, but if we fib this out, pull out, we fib this out, we can see that it has done a minor retrace, well, pretty pretty minor oh, pretty decent retrace so 50 to 61 8 so it might just be ready to come back down because this is generally a zone where it likes to drop now we don't know because it can so is all right so as far as retracements go because i never usually show retracements on this 0 to 23 is a minor retracement 23 to 38 2 is still kind of minor than this then the deeper it gets uh, the the more it'll push up or down depending on which way we're tracing from but since it broke this previous low really no we didn't really break it yet but all right so yeah but um because of how my bias is i do believe that it could break below and that is because it is a bearish flag so we don't know for sure for sure yet, but if you do look at this, uh, it came up, grabbed all this empty space here, and it's now probably going to drop. So we will see what what it's going on in the lower time frame. Sorry, on the one hour, so this is the last time frame I'll check. We're actually forming, interesting enough, a smaller time frame um, bearish flag. Now this one's a bit bigger, though this is still flag. Fix that a little bit. 
it's not the ni neatest flag, but it's or you if you don't like if you don't want to call it a flag, another thing you can call it is a channel. It's respecting these two areas pretty well. Um, so that's something. If it breaks below there, that's another reason why it could break downwards. So now let's look just to kind of talk about what this would mean. So the next zone is the 30,000, which it hasn't touched since July. And when it did touch it, it shot all the way back up to 50. So definitely going to, it's probably going to drop down there, probably pick up some buy orders and then push way up. That is all as far as Bitcoin US dollar. Now let's go over to Ethereum Bitcoin. Now this is, there's a lot going on here. I'll just kind of go over what I see. So, all right, so let's actually start on the monthly. So we're still in this channel. So just to kind of give you an idea, this is a monthly zone. But again, this is a channel, so it respected the channel as well. Now the problem is as we go up more and more, it will get closer and closer to the zone. So there is a good chance that this could that this won't break up unless of course we hear about the merge. Now if you don't know what the merge is, it's it, uh, as far as Ethereum goes, it currently runs on mining. So that basically means people buy these expensive rigs and they use all um their computers to solve complex equations and that's just a very outdated way of doing it now now instead of doing that what they're going to be switching to is proof of stake where they instead have people stake their tokens and then it gets split up among all the stakers for all the newly minted tokens which i think is a much way much better way of doing it i have mentioned that before in past videos so we will see what happens with that but if if that happens sooner than later, now they they confirmed it won't be in June, it will be a bit later than that, as far as the most recent news. So maybe July, August, maybe even September, we'll see that happen. So we might just be consolidating in this, uh, in this uh, channel for the next couple months, which is okay, because it is a great time to get into all the small, the small um, cap gems. Now that is why we call them out, because... They do good pretty much no matter all the time, unless Bitcoin or things are falling really hard. They do great. So um, I do suggest subscribing to the company if you're not already a member, because we give some decent callouts. Um, so now let's check this out on a lower time frame. So we're on the weekly still. So this is still a lot of time. This is 2021 when it when it's a bull mode. Now, um, the last time we wicked off of this bottom part was back in March. Now, I think that was like two videos ago, so you can check out what my bias was there, and I literally said that it was going to reach, that it was going to bounce off. Now, there is this weekly zone that it broke, so we can delete that. It's currently testing this one now, but chances are that it's probably going to break above, considering this formed a, uh, I don't know what kind of candle this is, but the but it formed a long wick in the downside, which means it's probably going to shoot up. And the reason it went down was because it had to fill all this empty space. Now let's look on the daily. On the daily, we got get that we get a daily zone right off of the bottom. So we got a daily, we got a monthly, and a weekly zone. We got a lot of different zones. Um, now. As far as weekly zone up here, though, it's still trying to retrace it. Now, we don't have any daily zones, unfortunately, on the lower time frame as supports, so we're just going to have to hope that it just breaks above. But with how Bitcoin's been doing, it, chances are Ethereum will outperform Bitcoin, which will mean that this shoots up. Let's see, four hour time frame. See, we got a four hour zone here. Uh, we had one here, but it broke went below but we'll we'll see this maybe we'll see it drop a little bit down back to the zone and then shoot up only time will tell you can't really guess which is why i will just wait for it to happen and then act accordingly that's how i always trade so yeah not really much going on the four hour on the one hour time frame 
just kind of ranging because Bitcoin and Ethereum are both fighting each other. They're both performing poorly right now, so they're all both getting sold off pretty heavily. So Ethereum is looking very good, so their chances are we'll see outperform Bitcoin here in the next couple of months and eventually surpass Bitcoin as market cap because Bitcoin has no use case and Ethereum does. But, um, so basically Bitcoin is just digital gold. So what people call it because it's, it's a scarcity of it. But anyway, I'm going to stop rambling about that. So basically TLDR is that Bitcoin is dropping and once it breaks uh, if it breaks above the uh, flag, it'll go bullish. If it breaks below, it'll keep dropping. As far as Ethereum Bitcoin, it's currently ranging, but chances are it'll it'll shoot up if it breaks past this weekly zone. And if it doesn't, it'll probably just keep ranging for a while. So that that is all for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Check out the company if you haven't already, defydefenders.com, and like and subscribe if you haven't already.